hey guys you're welcome back to my video so in this video i want to share with you requirements to successfully analyze a trade okay you know some people don't even know what to seek for when they enter the market you know they just do anything that comes to their mind but right now i'm going to be explaining uh the details of the things you need to successfully analyze a trade and then you're going to watch out for it you can replicate this over and over again okay you can do it over and over again on any asset on any instrument in fact you can do it for your current cpa you can do it for your crypto uh there is a saying my mentor keep telling me it will say keep it very very simple you know, trading does not have to be that complicated. You don't have to complicate trading before you make money trading the financial market. So you have to keep it very, very simple. If you have a strategy, keep it very, very simple. Keep it very simple that uh, a child that is new can replicate that particular thing so i'm going to be keeping it very simple for you guys so that you can do it all over again and you can record it in your head so let's go guys what are the requirements to successfully analyze a trade what are the things you need where should you look at them everything i'm going to share with you guys in this video so you have to stay tuned to the end so that you can get every bit of this explanation so the first thing you want to do when you open your chat the first thing you want to do when you open your chat is to say a positive word meditate okay that's the first thing you want to do you have to meditate on what you want to do and i'm going to be explaining everything you need to do here so you have to meditate over it first okay this is what i want to uh do in the market if it goes this way i'm going to do this if it does not go this way then this is what i will do you have to do that first that's the mistake a lot of traders make. You just jump into the market and you just think you have to do everything that comes to your mind. No, you have to meditate first. Okay, this is what I want to do. And if it doesn't go my way, I'm just going to stay off the market. Or if it goes my way, I'm just going to enter the market. You have to make a decision before you start. So now let's go directly into what to do in the chat. Everything you need to do in the chat so the first thing you want to do when you enter the chat is to know your order flow okay know your order flow and when we talk about order flow guys when we talk about order flow it's the general structure of the market the overall structure of the market that is simply what order flow means you have to know the overall structure of the market now if um we are on mt5 if we are on mt5 we are going to have access to a uh, weekly time frame have access to monthly time frame but here we are limited to 24 hours time frame this is tradingview.derive.com so we have only 24 hours time frame here and we are going to make the with this one to know our order flow i'm just going to zoom it in very well so that we can know our order flow of the market so uh let's get to see the order flow of the market before we even do anything okay so what is the order flow of this market what is the order flow of this market that is what you want to ask basically the market has been in a downtrend We've been in a downtrend and that is our order flow. Downtrend, you can see it's it's very, very easy. It's very, very easy to recognize if you know how to see it properly. You can see that the market is trending to the downside. Now, when we say trending to the downside, it simply means it is falling. It is very easy for you to see it with your eyes that the order flow is bearish. It is very easy for you to see it with your eyes that the order flow is bearish. Just zoom it in and see the trend of the market. Is it falling? Is it rising? So in this case, this is uh, volatility 25. This is volatility 25. And here we can see that the market is trending to the downside. 
the market is straining to the downside so this is our order flow and um, the next thing we're going to be looking at is where is the last break of structure ensure you mark out your last break of structure on the higher time frame let's see the last break of structure and that is going to help us to determine anything else we are doing okay guys so let's go since we know the other flow is bearish yeah the other flow is bearish so what are we supposed to do what should we do uh let's mark out our last bms okay so i'm going to be marking out the last bms here we have a bms here another bms here okay this particular high did not get to our primary point of interest okay let's see Hold on, guys so what's the next thing we should do okay basically on this time frame our last bms is to the upside this is our last break of structure to the upside okay okay so this is the break of structure our busy class break of structure now you can get to weekly time frame and see another thing okay but here on this daily time frame it is very clear we are in an uptrend on the daily time frame but our order flow is bearish our order flow is bearish if you look at it from the uh, higher time frame perspective i'm not sure we would have had a break of structure but uh, on this daily time frame we have our bms to the upside and this is our last break of structure to the upside so um seeing our last break of structure what else should you do Yes, that's the next thing you need to ask yourself. You remember I dropped a video some days back and I told you you need to recognize your major liquidity where you are not expecting market to break. So as we have our BMS to the upside now, where is the low we are not expecting the market to break? It is very essential you know that, guys, so that you don't call um, a strong, you, do, you don't call a low. You don't call just any low a major low. So we are going to ensure that this low is actually a major low. So how do we know this is a major low? So this is it. Okay, beautiful. We have the low. has taken this for an inducement, right? We've taken this for an inducement. And also, aside from taking inducements, we had ont of liquidity we had on of liquidity here the market gave us on of liquidity so basically this is a major low so we are going to be marking that out now you marking this out is to know your range okay it is to ensure you know your range the range you want to trade inside except you are uh except you are a swing trader you are dealing with just this particular range i am marking out if you are a day trader this is the range you are dealing with you have to mark out the range you have to know the range you are trading inside so we have our um major low here now it simply mean when we talk about major low it simply mean we are not expecting market to break this particular low yet Okay, we are not expecting market to break that low. Now, if market breaks that low, it simply means we have a change of character. Maybe um, this eye has gotten to this eye. Hold on, guys. Maybe this eye has gotten to a valid PO high on the weekly time frame. But currently, all we have to do is to know the range we are trading inside. And also, you have to think in terms of probability. The market can come back and break this low. You are not the market. So the market can choose to do whatever it wants. So you have to be very, very careful and think in terms of probability. And that is why we always talk about patience. 
patience patience every time you have to have that patience to be able to wait and see the market display not not displaying anything for the market because some people will just come and then they will say this is what i want the market to do when market does something else they will feel the market is against them now you have to see what the market is doing not what you want to see just see what market is doing and not waiting to see what you want the market to do so we marked out our protected low right we've marked out the low we are not expecting market to break now you have to have it at the back of your mind that the market can come back and break that low you have to think in terms of probability so after you've marked out your major low you've marked it out you've marked out your last bms it simply means we are trading him between this range okay guys we are trading in between here in between this range from here to here that is the range we are trading inside we are trading in between this particular range guys so there are two things that will happen it is either the market is coming to break this low or the market is coming to break this eye those are the two things that show up or you can see we are in between the market right now so it is either the market wants to break this eye or wants to break this low now there is an hedge over the order because our last bms is to the upside okay our, as long as you are uh, thinking in terms of probability as much as you are thinking in terms of probability you should know that you have an hedge over the order and the hedge is that we are in an uptrend here because the last bms is to the upside so what we are looking out for currently is a buy move on t the market comes back to break this low you are still looking for a buy move okay you're still looking for a buy move until the market decides to break this low so after you've marked out your major low you've marked out your last bms what is the next thing you need to do you have to check where the market is right now check uh what the market is doing and how the market is reacting to different places so i'm going to advise that uh you pick out the po high on the higher time frame pick out your PO high on the higher time frame so if you are expecting the market to come here hold on guys you are expecting the market to use this place on the higher time frame you can see this is the PO high we have here and markets can still decide to use this particular uh, PO high making use of uh, this low as a liquidity so you can decide to mark this out also but all in all you are expecting market to come into this area so the next thing you would want to do is check your uh lower time frame check your four hours time frame i love using the eight hours time frame also but currently i'm just going to jump into the four hours time frame so i'm going to see how i can join the move in getting into this area so here on the four hours time frame we have our bms to the downside here we have our bms to the downside so let's mark it here okay good we have our bms to the downside this is our last break of structure and the market has entered properly into a po high The market has entered properly into a PO high for a continuation. You can see the market's continued to the downside uh, after it's got to our PO high. So what is the next thing you would want to do? You can see uh, we are approaching this low. Like we said in the previous one, it's either the market is targeting this high or this low. So we are approaching this low already. You can decide to join the sell move to take this low 
or you can decide to wait till market gets to your PO high before you do anything. And you have to be very, very patient with that if that is what you are looking out for. So what I just want to uh, explain to you guys, now we've marked out our PO high here. I want to explain the next thing you would want to do after you've marked out your PO high. Now that you've marked out your PO high, you have to refine it to the lower time frame, okay? So we're going to be making use of this particular PO high. Now, let's just assume we've not gotten here. Let's assume the market has not done this. Let's assume the market has not done this and you just marked out your PO high based on the fact that we had our last BMS to the downside on this time frame. So let's go to the lower time frame and then we're going to refine our... um. We're going to refine our PO high. Let's refine our PO high to the lower time frame. So let's go to the 15 minute time frame and refine our PO high. And after refinement, the next thing you would wait for is just confirmation. And that is all. You can see how simple it is. Yes, it is very, very simple. It is very, very simple for people that wants to make it simple for themselves. You just have to keep it very simple. Keep it so simple. Okay. 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 See these guys. We had a BMS here. I'm going to give you detailed explanation about this. We had a BMS here. Check this. We had a BMS, right? This is a BMS for us. Now, market came back here to properly test a PO high here. Now, this is our inducement eye. The market induced this eye. This is the inducement eye here. Making this eye, making this particular high a strong high. It made this particular high a strong eye that we are not really expecting the market to come and break, right? We are not expecting. Remember what we said in the last video ensure you know your major high you know your external liquidity so we have our major high here now we are refining guys focus so we have our major high here let's change the color to black we have our major high here so inside here let's see if we also have another major okay the market has, uh, did not give us so much major here market did not give us major here and we've not tested this py this this other block we've not tested this see guys this candle this week did not get into this py so we're just going to mark this out first then uh let's see we have uh feverly gap so we have feverly gap i'm marking this out Marking this out, we have another fair value. Okay, so this is it. Basically, the market entered into the fair value gap, but it did not feel it. And coupled with the fact that uh, we don't have this other block tested, this other block is not tested. So let's see what the markets we do. Let's see another place we could have actually marked out if if uh we are expecting the markets okay so um, basically no way because see this place guys we have all of this place balanced you can see all of these places are balanced except this place so let's see if that was where the market used let's see if that was where the market used for a continuation but all of these places were balanced so um, let's see if that's where the market eventually is. Now, when market gets into this area, you've marked out your PO high. When market gets into this area, what is the next thing you want to look out for? Okay. Yeah, the market did not use that area. So, let's see where the market used and why the market used that place. Okay, um, horizontal line let's see why the market shifts that place 
sometimes the market will not even get into your proposed POI. You just have to be careful. Okay. Uh, basically, I'm not seeing a reason market used this place, but let me check the five minutes time frame. Let's check the five minute time frame and see why the market used that place. See why this market used here. Yeah. Markets just use <laughs> an order block here. I'm not saying the reason the market used this place, but after the market used this place, it gave a confirmation. Now, sometimes markets will not get into your POI because it does not have the strength to enter into your POI. Yes, market does not have the strength to enter into your POI. Now, you don't have to bother about that okay you don't have to bother about that what we are going to use in entering the market is confirmation you don't want to enter the market immediately it gets to poi so in as much as market did not get into this poi at least we got a confirmation so we have to get a confirmation for us to continue to the downside so let's see let's see what the market did so after the market got into this area, after the market got into this area, let's see what the market did. So I will go back to the 15 minutes time frame because uh, that's where I can see what this market is doing clearly. Okay. Oh, this is very beautiful. Now, uh, I made an entry confirmation video for you guys and it is in my channel you can check it i named it entry confirmation so uh and that was where i detailed a secret about entry confirmation see what happened here guys exactly the same thing we said we had a bms to the upside now i explained that when market breaks this loom when market breaks this low, when you want to get an entry confirmation, when market breaks this low, you wait. You don't term this as a BMS. Why? Because the market wants to trap early sellers. It wants to trap early sellers. A lot of people will sell at a point here. A lot of people will sell at a point here and put their stop loss above this eye put their stop loss above this eye the market will come back to clear them out now i i explained to you guys that when we have the first pms don't just say that that uh our confirmation don't just say that because sometimes the market will just induce a low and then continue to the upside now the market came back and gave us another pms to the upside making this low a strong low so we are not expecting market to take this when it takes it we have we have our change of character okay so market took it and gave us gave us a movement back into poi so after we had this entry confirmation and you know that you marked out you know what you marked out you know the po high you marked out on the higher time frame you know the po high you already marked out on the higher time frame the market has gotten into it sometimes markets will just use fair value gap for a continuation to the downside so see what the market did it created this eye as a liquidity the market created this eye as a liquidity remember our range structure I explained that in my previous video, guys. So if if all you need is just to watch the previous video and this video, please do that. That is going to help you greatly. Okay, guys? So the market created this range structure and we came back into our PO high here. And this is a strong high here. Can you see? We have we have our strong high here. 
checking this 15 minutes time frame if you look at it from the five minutes perspective we had a bms to the downside here let me show you there was a bms to the downside here market came back again and gave us a pms to the upside again right this is a strong high so we are marking out this area as our POI. I'm marking this area as our POI. This is where I would have marked out as my POI. Uh, I'm not sure market got there. Okay, market did not get there. But when market got into this area and I had this first engulfing candle move, I would have entered at this place. The, the the third candle that happened here one two three okay the second black candle i would have entered at the opening of the second black candle and my sl above here my sl above this week if you check the one minute time frame you can get that same confirmation we were talking about but here i would have just entered here for a continuation to the downside now if you miss that area also uh, i always say that money flows in the market you cannot but get money in the market <laughs> you always find money in the market opportunities are always coming in the market so if you could not enter that area after we had this bms to the downside the market came back for a continuation to the downside okay if you could not enter that also we had another bms to the downside here it is very simple guys all these are just something you can just do but you have to get your psychology right um if you want to stay long in the market and then you don't want to just be working anyhow get your psychology right so here you can see what the market did i made the continuation to the downside if you did not enter that area also uh, let's see what the market did here if this is a safe zone we would have entered okay we had we had this see these guys making this eye a strong eye now as long as you are looking at these areas ensure to be checking your one hour time frame your one hour time frame your four hours time frame because sometimes markets will just use an induced area on the higher time frame as a liquidity and then continue to the downside so you have to be careful okay so we have this as a strong eye marking out this PO high market has not gotten there if we check the one uh, minute time frame we can get a confirmation and then we continue to the downside now it is not only sponsored can do the market uses where market does not have the strength to go back into sponsored can do markets will use either a decision can do a base can do markets will use a an, an untested zone a valid area for a continuation and sometimes markets will not use a valid area markets will use an untested area or a tested area and then it will continue to the downside the major thing is get your entry confirmation right if you can get your entry confirmation then you're good to go and uh, remember we always think in terms of probability so in every of the analysis you are doing ensure you think in terms of probability now let me repeat the requirements to analyze a successful trade the first one is meditate before you start the second one is get your order flow right once you understand your order flow you are good to go the third thing you want to do is get your last break of structure get your last break of structure then the fourth thing you would want to do mark out your higher time frame po high that you're expecting the market based on the last break of structure that you've marked out so get your higher time frame 
point of interest once you've getting gotten that one then you go to your lower time frame the fifth one is go to your lower time frame analyze the last break of structure on the lower time frame and see if you can make a continuation to the downside or to the upside on the lower time frame as a day trader and if you are a swing trader you have to wait patiently for the market to get to your higher time frame higher time frame PO high before you make a continuation but if you are a day trader and then you want to take advantage of different opportunities go to lower time frame mark out your last PMS mark out your major high mark out your ma or your major low mark them out mark out your PO high now once you've marked out your PO high wait for entry confirmation analysis is not supposed to be hard just keep it very simple mark out everything you need to mark out and then wait patiently for the market to display i'm going to see you guys in my next video keep living in the atmosphere of profits bye guys